What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Lucci back again with another Warzone video. And today we're talking about a weapon that, in my opinion, is becoming my favorite Warzone weapon and might soon become your favorite weapon as well. If you were ever a fan of the Ram 7 back in the Modern Warfare days of Warzone, then you'll probably like this one. It's the AS44. I recently watched the True Game Data video that Tony over from True Game Data put out on the AS44. Shout out to True Game Data if you're not already following that man on YouTube and everything else. What are you doing? And I decided to try out basically his build, but on Rebirth Island. Now back to what I said about the Ram 7. If you were ever a fan of the Ram 7, a lot of people weren't because it had a weird recoil pattern. It went up and to the left instead of up and to the right. And that threw a lot of people off. So a lot of people just wrote the Ram 7 off as, hey, I'm not going to bother with that. To everybody who mastered the Ram 7's recoil and got used to it, the Ram 7 became one of the most lethal ARs in all of Warzone and still is to this day as far as I'm concerned. The AS44 is basically doing the same thing. Now, before I give you a loadout or show you any gameplay, I want to hop into a game really quick and just show you what the recoil for the AS44 is all about. All right, so here we are in Caldera, and I just wanted to come to like a random spot and just kind of show you what the recoil of the AS44 looks like. You'll probably hear people shoot in the background i can't escape everybody and plunder but here we go so just to take some shots at the wall really quick i want you to pay attention to the recoil of the as44 this is not me controlling it at all it's just me letting them fly if you notice anything one of the first things that stood out to me is how hard this gun kicks when you first start firing it but then you'll notice after about six seven maybe eight bullets it's a lot more controllable, a lot more manageable looking recoil. And that's really the golden ticket with the AS44. If you can just control the weapon really, really hard for the first six to seven bullets, after that, it becomes a lot easier to use. So the AS44 is essentially a more skillful AR. Obviously, you need to kind of master it. But if you can, it's got one of the fastest time to kills in the game, especially up close or inside of that mid range as well. From here to here, the gun kicked super hard and then it kind of got a little bit more manageable. So let me do it while actually controlling the recoil and uh, see, see what it looks like. So as you can see, the first few shots, obviously they got a little, they got away from me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie to you. The first few shots are a little bit hard to control, but right after that first initial kind of extreme recoil, it balances out for the rest of the 50 rounds. And uh, you're able to pretty much control the recoil with, with no problems at all. And you're gonna absolutely melt people. Oh, there's a, there's a guy right here. Hey buddy. Perfect timing. So now after showing you that, you can see that the AS44, while it might be a little bit tricky to master for some people, if you can just get used to that first initial kick of the weapon, you're gonna be frying people left and right. I promise you this thing has one of the fastest time to kills in the game. If you don't believe me, go watch the true game data video. I will post it in the description below. Uh, but I'm gonna show you my build for the AS44. Now I was running this on Rebirth Island. I might change a couple of things if I was running this on Caldera. For Rebirth Island specifically, I like the G16 two and a half scope. Obviously, you can use longer scopes if you're playing on Caldera. And the one other switch up that True Game Data runs on his build, because his build was originally for, for Caldera, uh, he changes up the stock. Now, I have the Zac 12A on here for a little bit more ADS speed and horizontal bounce. That's only because I'm playing on Rebirth and a lot more of the fights tend to be in close quarters combat, stuff like that. He ran the Kovaleskia Custom, which is going to give you even more recoil control during sustained fire. So it's going to help right after the initial kick with the AS44. So play around with this build, adjust things as you see fit, depending on your play style, and let me know what you think in the comments below. If you got any type of value out of today's video, make sure you drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're not already, because we got more Warzone content coming down the pipeline. Why did I do this? This, 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 why am I doing this? Make sure you watch today's gameplay all the way through because there is a couple of moments with this AS44 build that I should not have been alive if it weren't for the fire rate and the damage of this beast. I hope you enjoy. It's a fair price. Oh, shoot. to go to be honest with you guys but hostile 
How many clusters are going to get thrown down here at us, honestly? That's my only question. How many clusters do you got? If this AS44 hits really, really hard. Alright, so there's definitely a guy in the windows. Contract failed. Stand down. Is he in the windows or is he on the roof? I think he's on the roof. Oof, he just got picked. Might be our time to get across, try to flank up this Enemy staircase, I think. Definitely is. before he can hear us hopefully I mean that is just incredible That's, that time to kill I'm telling you guys right now I've been watching a lot of videos on this and I kind of understood this before I saw the videos but the AS44 it's got a little bit of an awkward recoil pattern. It really does. But if you can control this thing, you, you only got to... True Game Data's video said it the best. You only got to control the AS-44's recoil for like the first six, seven bullets. The first six, seven bullets, it kind of has this weird kick to it. But after that... It's just you and them. Finish it. I missed the fire sale. right there it gets a little bit squirrely for the first like six seven shots of the as-44 and then it becomes like stupid easy to control the recoil so like look at that i mean that that is just an incredibly fast time to kill I love it though. I love weapons like this, chat. This is the same way this is the same way the Ram 7 felt. This is a little bit more intense of a kick than the Ram 7 was, but this is the same exact way the Ram 7 felt. It was a it was a harder to use gun because the initial recoil was a little bit weird and it pulled a different direction. But if you mastered it, the Ram 7 was one of the best guns in the game. This that's exactly how I feel about the AS44 right now. It's it's the it's the closest thing we have to a skill gap in, in terms of recoil. See, I don't have the ammo to be doing this, though. That's the only problem. At that range, it starts getting a little bit squirrely. This is like a... It's the perfect, like, mid-range AR. 
mid to close, I'd say. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? Dude, look at that. That guy just got turned and burned so fast. <laughs> made that dude go install apex dude i'm saying i got you brother i got you no i don't no i don't sorry way too much stuff going on here sorry brother Let's go, baby. Let's fucking go. Dude, that AS44 is nutty.